Hey, what's up guys? It's Mario back again with another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Rocket Mortgage, uh, RKT stock. There was an insane short squeeze today. Wall Street Bets did it once again. Now, it was not only Wall Street Bets. Uh, this short squeeze had a lot to do with a live stream, uh, a live stream, a YouTube live stream. And I'm going to go over all the details about that. I'm going to go over fundamentals, technical analysis. Now, I have been part of other uh, short squeezes like GME Stock, uh, AMC, Tilray, Afria. I've been part of those short squeezes. And I'll put post videos on top of here so you guys can take a look at those. Now, uh, I, fortunately, I was not part of this short squeeze. I did miss the boat on this one, but it was a little bit tricky. Uh, again, like I mentioned, a lot of this short squeeze had to do because of YouTube uh, live stream, in my opinion. I'm going to go over all those details. I also want to quickly mention, guys, I am sharing my uh, Weeble portfolio as well as my Cash App portfolio. I have around $500 in each one, and I'm going to share the stocks that, uh, that, I'm, uh, that I have in those, that portfolio so you guys can take a look at them. And I will be going over in other videos and, and why I bought here and all that kind of good stuff. So don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below on the YouTube, com, uh, YouTube channel. Let me share my screen and let's get started. Okay. So uh, let's get started with the screen share. All right, uh, so this is Rocket pretty much. This is my uh, Weeble account. I will share uh, my stocks in a second, but let me go over Rocket, uh, you know, and, and what happened with RKT stock. So there was a huge move today, up over seven, uh, over 70%. Um, and a lot of it had to do, it, it all started with, uh, with on this day last week on Friday, uh, they reported earnings. Uh, so let's take a look at the earnings, see what pretty much what's said. Now, this stock actually did pop up in one of my scanners. I did see it. I, unfortunately, I did not read the earnings release. And again, that's why it's so important to do fundamentals, guys. Reading some of these earnings releases will kind of give you a clue um, and that this might be a stock that can make a move. So what really caused a lot of people to want to buy the stock is, is pretty much this right here. You know, Rocket Companies experiences explosive growth, revenue increases of 144% year over year to 4.7 billion in the fourth quarter. Company announced a special dividend of 1.11 per class A share common stock. That is huge, you know? So that was really, really big. Uh, so, you know, if you kind of look at, you know, here uh, in these, these um, uh, other uh, bullet points, you could say increase adjusted revenue to 4.8 billion up 162% year over year. Grew net income to 2.8 billion, up 277 year over year. <laughs> Increase adjusted net income to 2.3 billion, up 350 percent year over year. So, just thinking about the fundamental analysis, it was solid. Um, I have been an investor in Rocket um, a, a while back. I kind of sold the stock because it wasn't really doing much. You know, if you if you could see the the chart, you know. Ever since this IPO back in uh, August of 2020, you know, it kind of just been ranging, ranging. And I kind of sold, you know, around last year, around December, I kind of was just tired, wasn't doing anything. But this earnings release was a game changer. Uh, so that was one of the clues. Now, what really, really started moving this stock was actually, of course, one of it was Wall Street Bets. But of course, they also had a high short interest. You know, if you look at over here, it's a 43 billion market cap. Uh, the short, the share, the short flow was 38%. So over 38% of his shares were short. So at a high short interest, of course, these high shorted stocks are targets uh, for um, you know Wall Street bets and other Reddit users, and and, and now a, a YouTube live stream that I'm gonna talk about, get more into detail. So if you look, if we go over this article really quickly, um, you know Rocket uh, Company shares sold more than 70%, hurting some short sellers. Uh, pretty much, um, you know, shares in heavily uh, shorted mortgage provider rocket companies surged on Tuesday and were set for third straight day of gains as a stock drew an interest on Twitter and Reddit popular uh, Wall Street bets. Uh, so Wall Street bets, of course, has something to do with it. Um, and again, we, we all know what happened with uh, GameStop, AMC, those type of stocks. So definitely uh, because of the short interest, the good fundamental news, uh, this was a target uh, for, for, for a squeeze. Uh, but there was more than that. Uh, so there, there is this uh, YouTube channel called Dumb Money Live, who actually was going live today 
And they talked about how they bought a million dollars worth of heavily shorted rocket stock. Here it is. Why we just bought $1 million of heavily shorted rocket. This to me was also a reason why. Now, just so you know, they also have a following. They also have a Discord channel and have a pretty decent amount of following as well on their Discord channel. But because they went live and it looks like they had a, a 13, 14,000 views and actually live streamed three hours ago, um, I think this could have also been part of it. And I'm going to show you a small little clip of what these guys talking about. They literally just talking about how they bought $1 million worth of RKT or rocket stock, rocket mortgage stock. Uh, our RKT stock. So let me let me kind of show the clip. I know it was Thursday, dude, Jordan, because on Friday morning I woke up at 6 30 a.m. 6 30 a.m. and I bought it. I bought 1.3 million dollars of PECON last Friday morning. Okay. And it was I bought it about 21 and a half, I think. And then even this weekend, meet Kevin, who we love, who's in Rocket, was I think kind of making fun of me. Okay, that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I want to share. So, um, as you guys can see, this guy looks like he bought it on Friday, and then absolutely makes sense because on Friday, uh, again, the stock was uh, here around the 20s, uh, and that was a day after the earnings report. Uh, the earnings report was actually on. If you let me, let me go back to the earnings report. The earnings report was actually on the 25th, but it was after hours. So the market did not react to the news until Friday. Uh, which was the, the 26th. Uh, so Monday we had some move and today was that move. And of course that live stream uh, from Dumb Money literally telling the people that, hey, they bought a million dollars worth of rock and mortgage. I mean, it was, it just literally caused an insane move. Now, um, just to kind of show you the intraday chart, you know, because uh, if you look at it, literally it rocket, it wasn't really doing much. Um, it was definitely up like 40% um, pre, uh, after the market opened. It was hovering around 29 and all of a sudden uh, it started to break it out as these guys were going live, as dumb money was going live, talking about rocket mortgage, the stock literally just started breaking out and, and going crazy. Uh, so actually um, there is a, a part of it in the video right here where they, where they kind of they kind of go over it and, and it starts breaking out. It's right here. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty funny, actually, like right here. Wait, what? What? Oh, did you sell? Did you sell? I turned off my phone so I didn't want any distractions. I thought you were like 16. Wait, what? You sold? Not purposely. I didn't. So, as you guys can tell, one of these guys uh, sold too early, you know? So paper hands for this dude right here. <laughs> so this guy's name is Piton Games. He goes by Piton Games on the uh, Dumb Money Discord channel. Um, so these are all members. These are the guys, Dumb Money guys. So pretty much, uh, you know, this was live, guys. So, you know, like I say, in, in my opinion, part of this squeeze could have been because these guys were going live and talking about the stock as the stock was moving. This could encourage, you know, uh, you know, either uh, viewers of the YouTube channel going live stream or even other, uh, you know, uh, Discord channel people kind of like to kind of like spread the news and and go viral on buying rockets. So that's literally what part of it that causes a squeeze. So uh, that's pretty much it for, for rocket guys. Again, don't forget to click on the top of the links. Now, I do want to share really quickly my portfolio, give you guys an update what stocks I invested and even an option. I did buy an option. And a call option. I'm going to go over really quick. Uh, let me share my screen again and show that you guys really quickly. Uh, so going back to my Webull account, I'm also going to share my um, my um, my Cash App account. So this is my Webull. Now, what I'm trying to do is have $500 worth of, of, of money in, in my Webull and $500 in my in my Cash App to kind of uh, buy and buy and sell stocks. So this is pretty much what I did. Uh, this is my current portfolio. Let me maximize all my positions. So 
I do have GNW. Now this stock was given to me because I opened up the, uh, I did open up a Weeble account with hundred dollars or more, of course. Uh, and again, there's a link below the description, the YouTube description, guys. If you are looking for a broker, Weeble is a good broker. This is the same one that I'm using for this account. Now I did buy uh, a option, a call option on Riot. Uh, I bought the $65 uh, strike price, uh, the uh, March 12th uh, call, weekly call option. Now I am, uh, I bought it around 247. I am down 30% of this position, uh, but it, and actually I'm gonna show you guys the, uh, the chart really quickly and, and what my thesis of that is. Now I did also buy Riot, the actual stock. I do own Afria, I do own Tillery again. Um, I do own GSAT and TRVG, Trivago. So if you look at my, my positions, I am up 18% on Trivago, about 7% on Tillery, 6% on Afria. Uh, this is a free stock, so not don't really uh, are too worried about this one. Of course, uh, Riot is my main position, especially the call option. And I wanna go over it really quickly uh, in terms of the chart. Um, so kind of going over my positions here, they are, um, you know, Trivago in terms of the daily chart, it looks pretty, uh, you know, I bought it. What's this is one of the things that I like, I really like about Weeble is that it kind of shows you where you bought the position and the, it says the position and the size and where you got it. I got it around 390 right here. So this is when I bought this one till right, I, again, I bought the pullback to around uh, 2450s. Afria, again, bought the pullback to 18. Uh, I got, well, this stock, I got it for free, so I didn't really buy this one. Now, GSET, I bought a pullback under $2, around 175. Riot, I brought 145, uh, 45, uh, excuse me, uh, one, one share at 45, 45. And this is the reason why I bought a call option on Riot was because uh, it does move with Bitcoin. I am heavily bullish on Bitcoin. As long as Bitcoin keeps moving, uh, Riot will keep moving uh, with, with it as well. Uh, so buying a call option was definitely uh, being aggressive on that move. Uh, so I did spend around $247 on this call option, um, and uh, which is a pretty big position. It's like a 25% position in my overall portfolio. What I recommend it, guys, I actually wanted to buy a, 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 a vertical spread uh, but because um, according to Weeble, I do need to have at least $2,000 or more in order for me to buy spreads. I, I was kind of forced to buy a call option. Uh, so in my opinion, not the best thing to do. Uh, definitely, I may consider uh, opening another account uh, with another broker just to focus on options, guys, and maybe put a little bit more money. So I have more flexibilities in using different uh, uh, option strategies like vertical spreads, iron condors, etc. Because when it comes to options, guys, it's all about the timing. It's all about uh, uh, buying at the right strike price. So there's a lot of factors that, that influence the price of a stock option. But of course, the goal is to reduce your risk as, as small as possible and have a high probability winning trade. And also having a probability of having a large win, like whether it be up 50%, 100%. So that's the reason why. So this call option, Again, I bought around, um, if you kind of, I mean, um, let me show you again what I paid for it. So if you go back, see, see where it is, I, a total cost of $247. So one call option cost me $247. Um, and uh, right now, so I bought it at $2,047. Right now it's, it's trading at $172. So I am down $75. Bucks, but again, it doesn't expire until the 12th. So if you look at the calendar here really quickly, it doesn't expire until next week, Friday. So I pretty much have a week, uh, you know, I, a week or almost uh, a week and a half, well, actually more than a week uh, to, well, you look at it, I have like around, yeah, like around eight, eight 10 days for before it to expire. So there's plenty of opportunity uh, that it could go uh, in, in the green. Uh, so I'm just waiting for this to kind of make a move. Uh, again, I am uh, bullish on let me see, on 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 Bitcoin. So if you look at take a look at Bitcoin, really quickly, uh, Bitcoin is continuing to make a move. It had a bounce right here. So if we do see new highs on Bitcoin. I really do see that moving. Uh, you know, influencing of course the riot. Uh, so that's the reason why I am definitely bullish on that. So let me go over now and share my cash app really quickly, guys.
Uh, in order for me to do that, I do need to take my phone because that's where, pretty much where I have it. So let me, uh, let me stop sharing this. Uh, I am gonna change the camera to the webcam. There you go. That's the webcam. And now let me share my phone really quickly. Okay. All right, so let me uh, share a screen for my phone so you guys can see that really quick. Okay. All right, guys, that shouldn't take too long. Now let me do that, share the screen, zoom. All right, great. You should be able to see my, my cash app now, sweet. So this is my cash app. Unfortunately, I was kind of forced to sell some of my stock on my Weeble, so I was able to afford uh, the uh, call option on Riot. Not the best thing I wanted to do. Um, it kind of forced me to kind of buy some of the stocks on, on, the, on the cash app, so that's the reason why my portfolio is over $500. Uh, so I am going to keep it there. I'm no longer going to add any more money on this portfolio, whether it be my, in my Weeble account or in my cash app account. I'm no longer add more money. So I'm just going to be buying and selling these stocks depending on, on what, uh, what the market is doing. So right now, of course, I do own $50 of a square. I do own some overstock. I own Workhorse. I own Zoom. I own Canopy Growth. I own Boeing. I own Blink, Snap, Fastly, Tesla, Neo, the Trade Desk, and Virgin Galactic, which is uh, space, S-P-E-S-C-E. So this is it. So I wanted to show you this guy as well so you guys can take a look at it. Uh, so total invested is $639. Uh, again, I was forced to sell some of my stock and my Weeble, so I was able to afford uh, the, um, the call option and I'll show you guys as well. So right now I am down $16.74, uh, but you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, now I do have Bitcoin, I've been buying Bitcoin. Now this is kind of separate over on my stock portfolio. I do have a, uh, a auto invest bi-weekly. I buy $10 every other week. So my next, uh, next, so next Monday, uh, March 8th, I will be buying $10. Uh, so I just wanted to show you, you guys could buy that. Now, I, guys, I want to quickly mention down below in the YouTube comment descriptions, I do have a link uh, uh, for a cash app. If you guys use that link, you guys will get $5 for uh, sending uh, $5 on the cash app. Again, the reason why I do uh, I like um, the Cash App is because it allows you to buy fractional shares. Like for example, uh, Tesla's over 800 bucks, over $700, and I was able to buy $50 worth of it. So that's the reason why I like it. So, all right, guys. So let, I'm gonna go back and share, um, share uh, my other screen. Uh, let me share my other screen uh, so you guys could take a look at, okay. I'm gonna show the, uh, the other stocks that I bought, you know, portfolio stocks. Again, like I mentioned, I do own Square. Uh, I did buy Square uh, when it kind of was hitting this uh, trend line. So I bought it around 224 on my cash app. Uh, Trivago, we already kind of covered that. Canopy Growth, again, bought it around uh, 33. Uh, the reason why, because again, pull back to support area. You guys can see the support here at 32. Uh, you guys can see this, uh, this level right here, 32 is definitely good support at his bounce right here. Uh, Tilbury, we already talked about Boeing <clears throat> again. Um, Boeing had some good news, had a good bounce of support of the 210. <clears throat> so that's the reason why I bought that one. Uh, let me see what all their stocks I'm gonna kind of go over. Okay, Blink. Uh, you know, again, bought and they pulled like the support around 39. I do like that. OSDK, it pulled back. I do like it because it pulled back about around uh, 60, 70s around there. Uh, workhorse, uh, I do, uh, yeah, Workhorse, I bought it around, uh, about 15, around 15, that's where I, I bought it. Fastly, I did buy it around 74, 75. Zoom, at a nasty sell-off, even though it had really good earnings, that one I bought around 365. Space, I bought around 36. Um, let me see where else we at. And of course, we already know about Riot and, and, uh, and things like that. So that's pretty much it, guys.
Um, hopefully this video makes sense to you. Hope you guys were able to learn something from this video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Let me know what you guys think in the uh, below the, the YouTube comments. Again, these videos are for learning entertainment purposes. Don't forget that. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time.